you guys. Girls. God. Hope you're all doing wonderful. Happy Monday. Coming from outside. So before we get started, today's sculpt class is gonna be a little bit different. You know, same idea, same body parts. But I want you to um, I want you to have the option to use a weight. So I have a hand weight with me. You can also use anything that you know you could hold comfortably in your hand that's heavier than one pound. So just before we get started, grab something. If you want to do a hand weight, the hand weight is going to be for deadlift exercises, single leg and double, which really focus on the back of the hamstrings and the glutes. Um, I'm not playing music. I'm gonna have, again, outside in nature, so whatever happens outside happens. I can't control that. There is some landscaping being done, so don't mind the, um, the noise, but hopefully that won't be too disturbing. So put some music on, grab a hand weight or a bottle of wine, and I'm gonna roll my mat up double for when we're in tabletop, but we're gonna start standing. So let's get started. Hope you guys are all doing awesome. Get ready for a good burn. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, standing with a warm up. Okay, I'm gonna stand just right here. So bring your legs, hip distance a little bit wider, parallel, even a little medially rotated. I'm gonna bend my knees, place my hands down onto the mat down onto the floor, stretch my legs up, and then bend, soft bend and stretch. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Bring your legs a little bit wider out. You're gonna go over to one side, pushing the weight back into the heel, bum back, and then up through center over to the other side. Ooh, getting a little bit of popping out of the way. Let's do four more in each way, four. And three, and two, and one. Nice job. Turn the legs now, external rotation, so they're 45 degrees. The bum is sitting back. We're getting all those kinks out of the hips, and we stretch. Let's go for four, and stretch. For three, and stretch. For two, for one and turn the legs in, bend the knees, round up the spine to roll up, reach the arms up overhead, big inhale. Exhale, roll the shoulders back for four, for three, for two, for one, bend the knees, bring the arms up. Exhale around, up, exhale around, one more. Bring the arms out. Reach that left arm or that right arm out to the side and then go up and over, keep the shoulders square, bend the knees. Get that long side body stretch through the ribs and hip. Keep reaching and up. Other way, reach up and over. Long stretch, up, reach. And pull yourself back up. I want you to find a place in your lovely homes to stabilize on. A chair, a couch, a countertop, something that you can go and hold as we do um, some deadlifts. Okay, before we get started, have your hand weight nearby, and I want you to just lightly, keeping your hips parallel, lightly just kick your bum. I want you to feel that long stretch through the quad. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Take that leg, stretch it forward, Roll the foot to point, do that two more times. Flex and point, flex and point. And then bend that supporting leg, cross this leg over top. Go into a figure four, thread the needle, that half pigeon pose, opening up the side of the glute, side of the hip. Round the spine so you get that nice stretch in the low lumbar. Three, two, one. Come up, up, up. Keep that leg externally rotated. You may feel a little popping. It's all good. Bring the leg back through center and then send it straight back. I want you now to target that hip flexor joint. So pelvis under, light, light pulses here for five, four, three, two, one. Bend, launch yourself forward and go the other way. 
Take the bum, heel to the bum. That long stretch through the quad. Stand nice and tall through the spine. Four, three, two, one. Stretch the legs straight out. Flex and point the foot. And now you're gonna bend that supporting knee, cross that leg over top of the thigh, sit those hips back. Deep breaths. From here, keep that leg crossed over. Come up to a straight, straight leg. Feel that open hip. Now parallel leg, send it back. Pelvis under, light pulses. Get that long stretch for five, four, three, two, one. Launch yourself forward and grab your hand weight. So my left hand is gonna come to, I know I'm reversed, but I'm gonna speak it. My left hand is gonna come to my stability. Both legs are parallel. My hand weight is in my right hand. Okay, so I want you to really focus on keeping that low back neutral, so no arching. Keep it tucked under, and then immediately activate those lower abs. My hand is in front of me, my shoulders are rolled up and back. I send my leg back parallel, I hinge straight spine with my body. That weight goes straight down, right in line with the shoulder, and then I bring myself up, squeezing the hamstrings, squeezing the glutes, back to parallel, straight up, neutral. Let's go down, straight line. Gently pull yourself up, squeeze the hamstrings and glutes. Let's go for eight more. Take your time, nice and controlled. So that hand is there to stabilize, but you're not gripping on, just light. Let's flex that back foot so we can activate that hamstring. Abs pulled in. Four more. work. Switch sides. Parallel hips, that hand right in front of you. Neutral spine, shoulders up and back. Flex that back leg. Begin to hinge forward at your hips, straight spine, and then pull yourself back up. Squeeze the hamstrings and glutes. Last three. One. Pull yourself up. And then bring both legs hip distance apart parallel. Bring the hand weight into the center of your body, shoulders up and back. Now ground your feet, firm them up. Micro, micro bend in the knees. Don't over extend. <laughs> belly, belly in. And then you're going to draw that weight straight down. Straight spine hinge, stop. Squeeze the core, come back up. Squeeze the hamstrings and the glutes. Bring the weight straight down, hinging at the torso. Pull yourself up using the lower abs. Up, up, up. Squeeze the hamstrings and glutes. Let's go for eight more. Really focus on those abdominals right now. Belly button pulling into spine, squeezing the hamstrings and glutes as you stretch straight up. Last four. Two 
two more. All right, well done. Place your weight down. Let's come down to our mats. I want you to curl up your mat if you're on a hard surface like I've done. Just fold it up a few times and then bring it enough distance so you can be in tabletop. All right, so we feel our hamstring muscles. We're feeling warmed up. Let's do a little bit more. So just come to your neutral to begin. Exhaling to round. Pull those lower abs in. Look at your belly button. And then reverse. Bend the elbows. Go through neutral into extension. Chin up. Exhaling to round. Complete three more at your pace. Follow your breath. And when you're ready, come to neutral. Bring the weight primarily in the left knee, staying up out of the left hip as you send your right leg back. Begin to lengthen the right leg back, keeping it parallel, turned in. Lower abs pulled in. Lengthen the left arm. Straight out in front of you. Grow long. Belly in. Arm and leg tap. And then they lengthen back in each direction. You squeeze your bum, pull the abs in. Let's go for eight. Three, two, one, hold, just pulse the leg up, keeping that long neutral spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen, pull, pull abs in, tap it down. Let's go for up, up, for four, and three. And two, and one, stay there, reach long. Left arm comes down, small pulses with the right leg up. I want you to begin to activate the hamstring and squeeze that glute. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it down on one, lower top, lengthen it, pull back, squeeze the glute. Top, squeeze. Last four, and three, and two, and one. Keep it there. Bend the knee to the bum, stretch out. Bend the foot in, stretch it out. Let's go for five, four. Keep the hips square, parallel. Two, ab sucking in, one. Keep it there, stretch and pulse it up. Lengthen, neutral spine, shoulders broad, belly in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, turn it out, external rotation. Bring the foot in line with the shoulder. We repeat, let's lift it up. Two, down, two, one. Squeeze the glute down, lower, abs in. I want you to begin to feel those obliques, those side abdominals into the hips, pulling out of the shoulders. So you're pressing yourself away from the mat, shoulders nice and straight, neck relaxed, only four to go. Last one. You're gonna hold it up there. You're gonna bend and stretch, squeeze. Bend, stretch, squeeze. So we're still turned out, external rotation. For four, 
stretch and three stretch and two stretch and one you're gonna bend it in bring it halfway down one two lift it up two down down up up make sure your alignment and your torso is correct abs in pressing away from the mat neck relax I stay down four to go up two lower halfway in lift it up squeeze last one stay there small pulses squeeze the top glute you're getting into the side getting into those inner thighs eight seven six five four three two and one stretch lower internally rotate sit back child's pose for two deep breaths As you inhale yourself forward, I want you to come down to that supporting elbow. Other arm is out to the side, fingers spread. Shoulders open. Align your knee correctly so you can lengthen your leg back. External rotation. Up out of that leg, lift it up, flex. Now you're gonna go halfway lower, up two. Halfway lower, up two. Squeeze the glute. As you lift it up, keep those abs sucking in. Let's go for four, for three, for two, abs in, stay there, pulse it up small, up, up, pull the core in, 10. Four and three and two and one, stay there, bend the knee. Bring the knee to the shoulder. We're going to crunch the waist. In, crunch, stretch it back. In, crunch, stretch it back. I want you to move your torso to meet that knee and shoulder in the center. Cinch that waist. Ten to go. Nice job. Four more. Three, two, one, keep it in, squeeze the leg, send it, that foot in line with the shoulder. So my foot is flexed, it's in line with my supporting shoulder and I squeeze the glute, the entire glute is strong. My knee is going to come back to that shoulder, I'm going to crunch it in and twist. Crunch in, bring that foot over there. In, squeeze the glute. Keep sucking in the core. Try not to drop the leg as you send it to the back. Knee to shoulder, send it back for four, for three, for two, for one. Stay there. Point the foot, abs in, we pulse it up, up, up. Eight, three, two, one. We bend to the side, abs start to take over. We stretch it out, we tap it down. My obliques help lift my leg up, tap it down, up, tap it down. Last three, last two, last one. Lift it up, send it to the back, stretch, lengthen, bend, curl it in. We open side. Let's go, open and close. Inner thigh, close. Squeeze the glute in. I want you to activate the inner thigh and the glute as you open. Try to stay up out of that supporting leg. Abs are sucking in. 10 to go. Three, two, 
two, stay there, one. Pulse it up, squeeze. Abs on. Four, three, two, one. Release, child pose. Roll yourself up. Come onto your elbows, both elbows. Parallel right under the shoulders. You can bring your palms together if that's better. I want you to try your best not to sink and to stay really broad through the top of your spine. Align your knee. Same leg, last set. I want you to flex that foot and lift it up. I want you to feel the same place that we worked on those deadlifts, right at the hamstring, right at that glute. Keeping that foot flex, the heel up from there, pulse the foot into the sky. Let's go up, up, up. Now, lower abs have to suck in to protect the spine from arching. Pull it in, stay broad, keep going. Three rounds, eight. Eight. Last count of eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Take a breath in. One more. All right, let's prepare. Same leg. Lift it up. Flex that foot. Abs in. Shoulders broad. Legs are parallel. We feel the hamstring and right where the hamstring and glute meet. That's where we're sculpting. Especially though, wrap that around into those lower abs, pull them in. Let's go. Up, up, up. Three rounds of eight. Let's go for eight. For eight. Last round of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. Come in. Hands down, under the shoulders, find your high plank. Spread those hands, you can modify on your knees or on your elbows for elbow plank. Abs in. Let's hold here, squeeze the bum. Suck in those abs. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Push back, downward dog. Bring the legs to touch. Lift up the right leg. Bring it through into half pigeon. All right, I want you to hold half pigeon for five deep breaths. Deep breaths, everyone. I'm doing my standing half pigeon. I'm doing like hot Pilates out here. I love it. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, I want you to begin to lift yourself up using your core. Bring yourself back to downward dog. Tabletop. Just give yourself a moment. Release your neck, your head, your back. And let's readjust to the other way. So my right knee is more midline. I immediately press myself out away from the mat, away from the hip, and I lengthen that hip back. Pull the leg up, lengthen it back. Lower abs in, I become light on the opposite fingertips as I reach it forward. They pull in each direction long, and I lower it down. Lift up, squeeze the glute, lower down. 
So you're challenging your center line of balance right now, which is building abdominal strength. And of course, you're squeezing and activating your glute and hamstring as you lift up. Try not to sink in the shoulders. Press out away from the mat. Feel like your arm and leg are pulling in each direction as you lift it up off the floor. And then you're squeezing every muscle as you hit that top point. We're gonna pulse in four, in three, in two, in one, stay there, pulse it up, just the leg, lower abs in, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, lift up, lengthen, squeeze, keep going, four, three, Abs in, two, one, hold there, just pulse the leg. Up, 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 squeeze up. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, bring the hand down, lower the leg. Readjust, I have to readjust my mat a little bit wider. There we go. All right, starting with our parallel legs. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so let's lengthen that same leg back, parallel hips, spine straight, press yourself out away from the mat, broad shoulders. Lower abs in, squeeze, tap, lengthen back, tap, up, and up. I was just sinking so much in my supporting side. Make sure you're nice and pulled up. Your weight is primarily right in the center line. The supporting side is just there. <sighs> Suck in the core, squeeze the hamstring and glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, you got this, three, two, stay there, one, small pulses, up, pull those abs in, squeeze the glute, eight, seven, five, three, one, bring it down, turn the leg out, external rotation, bring it out in line with the shoulders, shoulder, We lift the leg up, squeeze, lower down, up, and lower down. Keep pulling those abs in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay there, one, squeeze the glute, pulse it up, up, four, three, two, one, lower down, we're going to lift up double time, up, squeeze, lower, down, up, squeeze, lower, down, doesn't have to go all the way down, just to a hover. Up, two, lower, two. Begin to feel those obliques. Begin to squeeze the side of the glute. For four, for three, two, one. Stay up there, bend the knee, from there, small pulses up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out, internally rotate, send yourself all the way back, child's pose, two breaths. Eight, 
inhaling yourself back up to tabletop. Start square in the body, square in the hips. Send that leg parallel back, lengthen it. Pull those abs in, press yourself away from the mat. Bend the knee, kick the heel towards the bum, stretch. Squeeze that hamstring, bend the knee, kick the bum, and stretch, lower abs in, let's go. You got this. Let's go for eight, seven. Try not to drop the height, just bend from the knee, stretch, abs in, four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way down. That supporting side, you're gonna come onto the elbow. Readjust. Begin to open up the hip, external rotation. Make sure you're not sinking into that side, you're pulled up through the core. Lift the leg up, flex the foot. From here, we go down, down, up, up. Lower halfway, lift it up, squeeze the glute. Lower halfway, up, squeeze the glute for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, one. Keep it there. Small pulses up, up, abs in, in for eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze that glute on one. We're gonna bend that knee to the shoulder. Crunch side body, waist. From there, stretch it back. Let's go in and stretch. Crunch it in and stretch. Really scoop in those abs. Try not to drop the knee height from shoulder. Stretch it back. Eight to go. Keep the spine straight. For four. You got it. Three. Two. One. You're going to bring that knee to the shoulder. Crunch. Bring the foot now to the opposite shoulder. Squeeze the bum. Knee to the shoulder. Crunch. Knee to the opposite so shoulder, squeeze the glute. So you're just wrapping that foot around the body, keeping those abs pulled in so we protect the low back. Knee to shoulder, foot in line with the shoulder. So you're gonna feel more of that juicy part, the middle of your glute. That's where I want you to squeeze. Keep those abs pulled in. Feels so good, let's do eight more. Don't just move, engage every muscle as you get to that final point. Last four, three, two, one. From there, stretch the leg out, point the foot, bend the knee. We're gonna go up, pulse it up, up, up. Keep those abs sucked in, 10, nine, seven, five, three, two from there. Don't drop it yet. Bend the leg to the side, stretch it out. Abs on top, obliques firm up. Tap it up. Use the core. Inner thigh is on, but I need you to use the torso, use the abs. You got this. Five to go. Straight to this side. Four. One. And we bend it in and close. Readjust. We open straight out to the side. Let's go. Open in. So again, the inner thighs are working, yes. The core is always pulling in, yes. Want you to squeeze that glute at the top height. Squeeze, squeeze. We count down for eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay there, one, pulse. Five, three, and sit it back, child's pose, two full breaths. All right, we got our final sculpt on both elbows. Don't worry everyone, we're almost done. <laughs> so, elbows are parallel. Hands can be together or just flat. Right away, press your elbows into the mat, pull yourself out of the mat. Neck is relaxed, knee center line, and the leg that we're sculpting lifts up. Abs right away, suck in. And I want you to feel that place, that hamstring and glue right where they meet. That's where you're squeezing. Flex the foot. We pulse it up. <sighs> Keep sucking those lower abs. Lift out, out of that supporting leg. Up, up. <sighs> Repeat for eight. Two counts to go for eight. Last time for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, full of breath. <sighs> all right, last round. You can do it, you've come all this way. Prepare, starting with the head, the neck, the shoulders, the abs sucking in. We lift that leg up to its fullest height, squeezing the hamstring right away, squeezing the glute. Abs sucked in, flex the foot. Let's go. Pulse up, press up. Last counts, let's go. Try not to move the body, just that foot. Keep squeezing, two counts of eight for eight, seven. Last time for eight. And release, hands down, come up to your high plank. Hands under the shoulders, step back. Keep the legs as close as you can together. From up the leg, squeeze, belly in, we hold. Last five, four, three, two, down dog, send it up and back. <sighs> Bring the legs to touch, lift up that left, le left leg, send it through half pigeon on the left. I'm gonna stretch it up standing. Great work, everyone. <sighs> okay. We got a few minutes of abs. And then you are on your way. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just filming a live video. Oh. <laughs> I was actually wondering, um, did you guys want this cleaned or no? Um, can I tell you in five minutes? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Thanks. I, one of the other guys will come down. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. Sorry guys. I guess landscapers aren't familiar with Instagram live workouts. Anyway, I'm gonna give you two more deep breaths in your half pigeon. And then I want you to grab a sip of water when you're ready. Laura, Rebecca, Grace. Sidif, Melanie, Stephanie, Terry, Victoria, hi all you beautiful people. Let's head over onto our back, do some core work. Send me a picture if you guys are doing your workouts outside. I'd love to see if you're doing the, let's say, let's give it a hot Pilates challenge.
knees bent into the chest. Little rock side to side. Place your feet on your mat, hip width apart. Curl yourself up into flexion, imprinting the low back, belly in. Hands behind the head. I want you to look straight forward, low back, pressing, abs sucking in. I want you to do sharp exhales through your mouth, pulling the abs in. Let's go. Counting here for 10. Three, two, stay, one. Bring your right leg up, tabletop, let's pulse. Keep sucking in. Four, three, two, one, lift up, twist. Keep those elbows wide, pulse it up. Keep pulling abs in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Center. Stretch. Let's pulse. Four. Stay one. Lower. And lift. Lower and lift. Keep the imprint. Lower. Abs pull it in. Four more. Keep that hip bone pressing down. Resist up. Resist up with the abs. Last two. Last one. And bend. Release. Imprint, curl up into flexion, lift that left leg up, let's pulse. Four, three, two, stay there, one, twist, suck in, we pulse. Elbows wide. Stretch it up, imprint, let's go. Eyes are forward. Two, one, stay there. Flex it down, resist, point it up. Flex it down, use those abs to pull it up. Lower, anchor the hip. Pull it up. Feels so good. Four more. Nice and slow. Bend, release down, let your spine arch. All right, let's go into our final blast. Imprint the low back. Suck in the belly, in and up. Curl up into flexion. Make sure the neck is long, eyes are forward. Don't jam the chin, keep it nice and open with the elbows. Imprint more, more curl up more. Find tabletop with both legs. We pulse, exhale. <sighs> Pull those abs in. 10. Three. Stay there. Lift the legs up. Squeeze the legs together, heels together. Lower them down. Three. Lift up one. Lower down. Three. Lift up one. Lift. Exhale, lower, 
inhale lift keep the hips heavy keep the tailbone heavy I want you to use the lower abs four more Bend the knees into the chest, gentle rock side to side. <sighs> nice job. Okay, we're finishing with our teasers. Bring the legs together, heels together. To make it a little bit easier on the body, walk the legs further down your mat. Harder, you're gonna bring the heels closer to the bum. Either way, your knees stay together and your feet stay together on the mat. Arms above the chest, ribs pull in. Inhale yourself forward, grab the thighs, lift yourself up an inch, suck in, and then lower yourself back down. Repeat. Inhale forward, grab the thighs, lift up, squeeze the abs in, roll down. So you're working towards building that center line abdominal strength. Complete five more. Last two. Last one. Roll all the way down. We're gonna finish off with our bicycles. Sorry. With our crisscross, similar to a bicycle. The only difference is your hips stay firmly down. There's no tipping or rocking. The twist is coming from the torso, the shoulders. So we're gonna start with our knees bent and tabletop, flex the feet, hands behind the thighs. Curl yourself up, that's your starting position. Try your best to stay off those shoulder blades. Now let's suck in those abs. Hands behind the head, stretch the opposite leg as you twist. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Center, hands behind the thighs, lift up one more inch. Last round, let's go. Suck the abs in, stay off the shoulders. Opposite leg stretches, elbow pulls us back. Last time, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Relax. <sighs> nice work. Bring yourself up to sit, butterfly those legs out. Whew. Close the legs. Stretch them straight out. We're gonna finish with a forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold, release. Eyes down, round your spine. Roll yourself up. Chest open. Nice work, everyone. Thank you for joining me for my hot Pilates outside. I hope you feel sculpted and incredible. I'm gonna post our week schedule up um, right now. So for those that are tuned in, next time I see you will be Thursday for some ballet legs. Mwah, lots of love. If you have any questions, send me a message. Shout out to Beyondina for this beautiful set. Lots of love to you guys. Enjoy your Monday.